So yes, finally, finally. Finally! Of course, we are back with another Dragon Ball video. Um, but yeah, um, it's been a couple of good days since I actually did a Dragon Ball video. It's mainly been Benton and not Benton. Um, I wish. Um, it's, been, it's basically been, um, last week for me, it was, my it was my birthday week. So yeah, I was kind of busy doing all the other stuff. It was crazy. It was insane. I, I was so tired and stuff like that, but I had a really good day. Um, last week and stuff like that. Like, every day was actually really good. Um, but yeah. Well, we did the LRST, LRSTR Bro Easy A. It's finally live, it's live on Global, both versions, Global and JP for same day, 2021. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go over all the information really quick. I probably won't spend all day on it though. I might upload this video when I'm done with it, or Beyblade video. I've been doing those Sonic and Beyblades in the last couple of days. I'm not tired of it, but I'm starting to slowly kind of get tired of it because it's like for Sonic, it's like it's typical and stuff like that. Maybe on my channel. I'm happy. But on the other hand, it's kind of like, uh, um, Beyblade 2 is like just doing the same thing kind of back and forth. It kind of feels like it though. But, um, this is good to kind of record Dragon Ball video. Doing something a little bit different. Uh, because we got, um, again, for both Gold and JP, we did get news and stuff like that. So, let's well just do this while I'm at it. Again, this video probably won't take as long because it just, you know what, easy it's, they don't have 10 stages and not like 30 stages, like going over and scrolling down a lot as much. But, yeah. Um, again, it's just this easy A if you're not new and stuff like that. For Global, actually, for Global, yeah, this is their first ever LR easy A. Um, they did this last couple of years um, where something new came out. I think Active Skill came out early. And they're like, oh yeah, new Active Skill, but it came out so early for Global. I think I think we got the SSR thing early as well, the early SSR, even though it was only for the UI Goku and Jiren banner. And I think, don't think JP had it all the time. I think it's when they got their official SSR thing. I think that banner, the Jir original STR Jiren UI Goku Awakening banner, I remember originally, I think. Um, I originally think it was already SSR, but then Gold was like, okay, we're going to update it and we make um, every unit in SSR at the end of every multi. I think the banner specifically had SSR at every multi, though. But then Gold was like, okay, we're going to put an update in it anyway, though. So, yeah. Um, again, though, we got rolling and stuff like that right here. Of course, typical EZA stuff. But this actually is different because it does have a, a le 10 stages instead of the normal, quote, typical um, 30 stages. So, that's going to be a little bit more easier. But it will be a lot more difficult as to do it more and more and more. So, sadly, though, it will take, you know, a long time. But, yeah, he does a lot, though. For a super attack, clear skull effect. All that they made him insane. I don't know what they were thinking with this guy. So yeah, we're gonna um, jump right in, of course. Um, like I said, it's only 10 stages though, but um, AL has one easy mode, the rainbow one, because it only takes 45. Um, easy mode for both Global and JP. I did check and stuff like that, of course. The same exact stuff. But yeah, of course, you get orbs. I think you get a little bit more orbs, I think, here. Or I think, those, I think it's less for Kai stuff. I think orbs and stones are pretty much the same thing. They, it's, it's literally still 30 stones, but they divide it up between every, like, you know, um, stage. Like, you know, one stage one has, like, you know, three. Stage two has three. Stage three has three. Has, stage four has three. Et cetera, et cetera. It goes on to 30 stones. Um, I think Kai's are turning it down to, like, five now. Yeah. Um, maybe because, you know, they're, you're already using units and stuff like that, and you already have them at, say, you know, they want to get, if you already have them at, say, 20, then it's, like, 25. That actually makes a lot more sense now, um, actually. So, yeah. Um... I'll go 45 medals for the EZA units. 30 stones like it is typically. But this one has like what? Yeah, it has a lot of less orbs as well because it's not like typical 5,200. It's 4,300 for small, 2,400 um, for medium, and 300 for, I mean, 200 for large. Because usually 360 for large because I always make the Xbox green 360 jokes and stuff like that. So yeah. Pretty simple stuff like that for real though. Um, again, he's looking to get hyper saying it's like the last couple of EZAs have been. Oh, uh, I've actually kind of learned that um, these EZAs and stuff like that. Let's just go back up. Um, these EZAs now will have, um, you know, these repeat EZAs like Broly right here, they'll have the same weakness as the last ones did. Like, for example, the OG Red, OG Red, OG STR, I'm like, I got like things ahead. Um, the OG STR, um, um, Broly, like the original one that came out the very first token of the game, um, he, I believe he, um, he, I'm trying to think, he, had, he was weak against Hyper Saiyans back then. The physical one came out, he was also weak against Hyper Saiyans, and this one's the same result. So they're all going to be pretty much, honestly, the same thing when they, um, you know, do all this. So yeah. Uh, now, now the cosmic makes sense, because I was like, why did they go with give you 5? Now I guess I expect you have an SX1 already, so you can use SX1. Um, again, LR do take a, not, a, uh, easy, do take a lot of resources, like, that's why they have, I guess, some of these stages, but, yeah, again, it does get difficult the more and more and more you go through it. It's a little bit, uh, I think stage 1 to 3 would be pretty easy, then around the time you get 4, like, to 5, start to get a little bit hard, but again, yeah, only 10 stages, super simple, super easy. There was also a glitch on JP and I think Global as well, where basically, um, you know, um, I think for JP's perspective, it was Gold, um, it was, um, the moving this stuff around a little bit. Um, it was, I believe, um, Legendary Power did more, did, I uh, think, um, I mean, for JP, it was different. I can't remember what happened. Um, yeah, I can't remember what happened. Um, I know for Global, I believe it was Hyper Saiyan's. 
didn't they did more attack damage even though they weren't supposed to because they're supposed to do a damage reduction like you know you, five percent right there the less damage right there minimizing basically means that you, you're gonna do more you're gonna tank a lot more and for legendary power you're gonna do a lot more damage it's kind of flip-flop like i guess every lr easy is to have legendary power in the previous weakness or a new weakness, or a new weakness that the um, other character didn't have before so yeah um but yeah, like i said though um hyper saints i think of global was glitch i think they corrected it now even on jp i think um hyper saints was more of a down thing like supposed to go like all the way down for a weakness it's supposed to be hyper saiyans and i think legendary power was on the top for jp it was supposed to be and for global's um i think the hyper saiyans did more damage of legendary power didn't did damage reduction i think i was switched up for global and jp so they, they fixed that error i come to quite they anyway, fixed that so yeah but anyway so um that's pretty simple for the easy like i said 10 stages super simple super easy um also i know we have like a new legendary summon um you know easy a which Chef, global and jb chef because jb chef because mainly i i, I think about this last night when i was doing, preparing for the video i'm like what am i gonna say for the video i was like oh yeah you had goku because on jp he got his easy a for the anniversary and guess what he he literally did not have a legendary summon um, banner like this i mean he didn't have like an easy a banner which is kind of a jp chef which is stupid i'm not gonna be overly shocked i'm gonna be overly shocked when it comes to global i'm gonna be like seriously like seriously like you seriously you like you literally did this like you couldn't give me you had goku one I kind of get it because I think all the other anniversary banners were up. Even LR Goku and Frieza, when they came out, when they first came out, I guess they wanted to, I guess they were for Global and JP at the same time. I don't know what they were thinking. I guess because they were like, oh yeah, we already got so many banners for it already. But if you want to push more money, you know, get more, you know, Goku and Frieza, you know, potentially more. Yeah. But I guess they wanted to wait for Global and JP to get this at the same time. I'm um, guessing that's why they didn't do it. So I'm not going to be utterly shocked when it comes to Global. I'll probably be like, oh my gosh, I said the $10 a month ago. Blah, blah, blah. But yeah. Um, then next here, of course, is a six hundred unit banner. I guess every hour is on here, but I don't really recommend summoning for these. Um, it does seem really good. Like I'm, I really want to summon try to get early myself, but at the same time, I'm not going to because the same name because with JP and stuff like that. Now, when you summon and get units like copies of the other units, and you had the main unit rainbow though. Like for example, I have this really fully rainbow right now. I'm just playing away example, but I can sell like his I can sell like his um card in the shop like for coins. It's three coins though, so yeah. Um, but again, like I said, um, these banners they're, they're good. They have a whole bunch of LRs on it, but you're probably gonna pull highly more. I guess more featured units than actually these LRs. You're gonna pull probably a lot of those LRs because there's so many now. But that's the goal, but they're only missing two, which is not a surprise. We gotta wait for like July to get those. But again, I guess global will have a another global first around April because we did have one last year, April May. Um, but yeah. Um, like I said previously though, I don't probably not probably recommend something on this banner. It's kind of weird, but I don't recommend it. I want to say go for it, but again, Goku doesn't have an update where basically, like, for example, I can have this Gohan Rainbow, but hit, I can have like him like fully, you know, SSR, you know, I have this TR Rainbow, but I can sell this SSR for coins on this, in, on, a, on a legendary summon banner like this, like I can sell them for yellow coins. For, I don't know, I mean, that's really good, but at the same time, it's like, because you're going to summon get all these units anyway, you know, I'm at, like, for example, if you was on Joker Fest banner, I can summon with Joker Fest coins, only, uh, only, like, with, I can summon with Joker Fest coins, and soon go for blue coins, like, again, you can summon, like, yeah, I mean, he, if he's on, like, a Joker Fest banner, I can summon SSR for red coins, I can sell, if he's on a banner like this, I can summon for yellow coins, and for blue coins, etc, etc. But you had to, again, you had to have the unit fully rainbow though, unfortunately, though, in your box. Yeah. And then the game will recognize, okay, you have the unit fully rainbow now. So, yeah. I want to say go for it, but I don't because looking at some of the banners are just bad. You're going to probably get a lot of trash on these banners. These banners are horrible. I don't care. These are worse banners in the game, in my opinion. You're going to get this utter trash. You're going to just get fully shafted, messed up like this. I don't. I highly do not recommend doing this. Please don't hurt yourself. If you want to go say something, go ahead, but I don't recommend, really recommend it. Of course, Hyper Saiyan is the main weakness, of course, for World this time around. I mean, there's just so many Hyper Saiyan units. And for JP, I believe they have the Gohan and Goten. Pretty much the listing is pretty much honestly the same, though, and stuff like that. Pretty much listing, pretty much all the same. So, don't really just go up this, because there's so many just Hyper Saiyan units and stuff like that up here. So, yeah. Um, again, that's pretty too much typical stuff. Though. So yeah, um, really right here, of course, um, a new different type of unit and stuff like that. Because Goku's first ever LR EZA, and for JP, this is their second behind LR Goku and Frieza, the second one for the anniversary. So yeah, so he's really good though. Talking about him in my second day video, I'll link it somewhere around here. But if you don't know, he does all um STR types, T4, everything got 120. Um, of course, for his first for a super attack, I think for super attack, his um eight, 17 and 18 key are pretty much both the same. Um, but for his passive does attack defense plus 50%, he gives another attack defense plus 50%, and he gives, um, he has a chance of doing another additional super attack that has a kind of, you know, doing this another super attack essentially like he did before. But his other part of his passive gives him 5 key, if you're finding hybrid, pure or hybrid saying enemy, um, or he's effective against all types, and, and he guaranteed hits, like, he, no matter what, he's gonna guarantee hit, he's gonna hit the unit no matter what, if you're finding a Goku family enemy. So, again, Hyper Saiyans, Goku family, pretty much, honestly, some of them are all in the same thing, so, again, yeah, War Storm is gonna be really simple, really easy, especially when you got that little mini AGO Goku right there in the corner, 
like, his passive is going to activate then, so... There you go, I guess, so yeah. <laughs> there you go, you got like, one, probably like, one of the best ever World Tournament teams in the game. Again, he's on a lot of good teams, you can run from Resident Warriors, Movie Bosses, Chris Sands, you can run all those teams on World Tournament besides Goku Family, and Go Target Goku, because I've never really you know, seen no one do that, or Exploding Rage. I think it's the only extreme SCR unit on Revenge, though, so yeah. I mean, compared to what he was before, um, this guy right here, um, this guy right here, compared to what he was before, um, now it's way better. So yeah, I'm gonna go in video here for sure. I probably don't really need to spend more time on this stuff, but he actually is really good. Again, we're good for World Tournament, good for his passive, good for all that. Again, give himself additional super attack. Um, um, more attack defense. Um, yeah, give him a little bit more attack defense. He did get out, completely got rid of his, um, his buff for a flat bonus, which sucked. Um, but overall though, good. Damn, they made, didn't make him like too disgusting, but they made him utterly disgusting for World Tournament because they felt like they knew that already. But that's something I was like, there's some banner, extreme Z, extreme better, whatever. Because you will waste a lot of just time, probably just in someone specific, but we're not having the update just yet. And you know, the video somewhere around here, the same day video and the update video for JP, or my link in the IPO, whatever else. Yeah, gonna get an NV here for sure. That was easy for global for, um, of course, same day and stuff like that. Really good, really easy, really simple. Um, yeah. Um, those are, my, those are my full thoughts, opinions, reactions. I can't, I can't move my camera a lot. So, yeah, see you guys later, though. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Great day. Oh, good day. You know, make sure you always stay safe. Wash your hands. God bless all of you growing up. Under wear a mask. Typical cool stuff. So, some toilet paper. I'm kidding. So, yeah, what do you guys think about all this stuff? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you hate it? Get out of here. But I'm kidding, though. Um, I like it, though. It's simple, good, easy. Um, but yeah, I'm sweating in my because the lamp's right there. Though. I just got hot for some other reason, so. Um, do I have some lemonade right there? Actually, I have lemonade over here. I'm gonna drink that in this video, so yeah. See you guys later, though. Peace out.